Welcome to part two on how to become a full-time professional artist. And in the last video, we covered the foundations, which is mindset. If you haven't seen the video yet, go and watch that first. And today we are going to dive into setting our big vision and then setting smaller intentions that are going to help us make those first steps into the right direction. So let's get going. Hi, if you haven't come across my channel before, I'm Solana. I'm a single mom and a full-time professional artist for the two past years. And here on my channel, I share everything around the art business, tips and tricks, how to dive into web free and NFTs. So if you're just starting out or would like to start as an artist, as a professional, then hope you join us in our community on Discord and follow, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will be sharing a ton of resources on how to start your art business or if you're already working as, a, as an artist, how to go full time or how to improve your business. So if you've been struggling before, then don't worry, I got you. I will do my best to share everything that I learned on my own journey with hopes that it's going to help you on yours. Like I said before, in the first part, we covered our belief systems and mindset and how to rewrite the stories that we've been living with and have been installed into us from our childhood and how to create new, more positive stories for ourselves. In this part, we are going to set the vision and set smaller intentions that are going to take us forward towards our goal. I strongly believe that we are always loved and supported by the universe. Call it God, source, whatever you want to call it. I call it the universe. So if we don't put out there what we want, then how can it be delivered? If we don't know what we want, how can we get it? So it's really important to know what you actually want. So this is going to be our first step in this video. Let's get into setting a big vision. So for me, let's say two years ago, my vision was to get independent, to work as a full-time artist, to have my own home. Um, I was separated at that point already, but we were still living under the same roof because of the circumstances we were in. So my biggest wish was to get that independence back to have my own space to be free to do what i want and you know to be surrounded by a bit more nature because where i live it's quite deserty so this was my vision and now i'm actually here i've been repeating that vision in my head i knew exactly what i want and two years later i actually achieved it and i'm living it so you will do the same. You're going to take a piece of paper and you are going to write down your vision. What is your future goal? How do you want to live? Where do you want to live? Who do you want to be surrounded with? What type of friends do you want to have? What do you want to do on a daily basis? What type of hobbies you have? Um, are, are you having your own studio in your apartment? What is your big vision? And what I want you to note on this is don't be to fixed on making it perfect. You are allowed to change this at any moment in time. I know I did change my vision a million times and I keep on working on it because I keep on changing my views, keep changing. So keep that in count, write down what your vision is in this moment right now. If that's going to change in the future, that's okay. You just rewrite your intentions. So let's first do that. Take your time, pause this video and come back to it after you have this paragraph written for yourself. Welcome back. So now that you've wrote down your full big vision of what you want from your life, it's time to set some smaller goals or intentions, what I like to call them, um, to help you make those first moves. So let me give you some examples. 
The examples I will give you is based on the story I told you before, on the intentions I've or big vision that I had two years ago for myself. I've written, written it by now and have a new one for the future. So let's review that one. So I wanted a house by myself. I wanted independence and I wanted to be surrounded by nature. So I would say my intention is to live in a beautiful, cozy home surrounded by nature and plants and greenery where I can create in my own naturally lit studio all the art that fills my soul. Another intention you can set is I consistently make 10 plus K a month from selling my services and selling my art. I'll give you an example of an information I set for myself um, just recently and it says my intention is to serve a community of up and coming artists and give them a place where they can grow and expand in their art business. So these are just some of the examples. You don't need to necessarily just do everything around art business. You can do it around um, money um, and other goals that you want to set for yourself, like spending more time in nature, whatever it might be. The point of this exercise is to see clear, short term, intentions if we take the example of me wanting to serve a community of up and coming artists and that this is my intention to give them a space where they can grow and expand now i know in which direction i have to look to be able to move that way and start taking aligned action okay so it gives you a clear indication of the path you are wanting to take so it's important to take time when you're thinking about your vision um, for the future vision in a big and also the smaller intentions you want to set for yourself. They are going to help you to take the right steps into the right direction without getting too overwhelmed um, with the things that you need to do. I hope you found this helpful. In the next video, we are going to talk about aligned action and the first Steps, so definitely stay tuned for that hope you found this helpful and that you are going to do it for yourself regardless if you're already in the art business or if you're just wanting to start out now uh, I will do this a series so we are going to go step by step and I will complement these videos with a new members group where I'm going to share blogs about it and resources around how to start your business also in a written form. If you would like to join it, I'm going to add the link down below in the comment section. Um, join us on Discord and stay tuned there because it's obviously easier over messages. So let me know. Also ask your questions away, put down your comments. Um, if you have anything, I will do my best to cover it in the up and coming videos and yeah don't forget to like follow subscribe share with someone who might need it and let's do this